morning, Facebook Live. So I want to start off with that song because it ties into last week's um, Facebook Live. And that is the rainbow. Um, and I don't know if you saw over the vigil at Pulse two days after that tragedy, there was a beautiful rainbow that um, surrounded that bar. And that is just so powerful because Without a little rain, you'll never see a rainbow. So first of all, I want to start by thanking you guys. Because of all the support and comments and likes from last week, we were able to make a huge, amazing donation to One Orlando, and that's because of you guys. So thank you for that. Um, secondly, I wanted to talk about, to, you know, leads into today's, um, about perspective. And something happened this week that made me be like, oh my goodness. Um, and thank you for joining. Hello, Raquel um, and Sharon. So I wanted to talk to you about this. Growing up, my sister and my brother, um, during the summer, we used to watch movies, um, but we only had two choices, the old VHS, and one was A Mom for Christmas. Probably half of you have never even heard of it. Uh, yes, we used to watch a Christmas movie during the summer, didn't think twice, about a mannequin that became a mom. No life lessons there. But the other movie we used to watch over and over and over again was The Wizard of Oz. Um, and I just watched it this week with my daughter for the first time in years. And it's so funny watching it with her because she's sitting there watching it being like, oh my God, look at Glinda, the fairy princess and, um, or the good witch. And she w wants to know why a lion can talk and she now wants a friend made of tin. But I'm watching it being like, what? Like, oh my God. Like, it is just like this aha moment that um, Oprah loves to talk about. So it's just about see, you know, and that brings me into perspective. And I can tell you now, because of the journey I've been on, I see the world so differently. And it's because of the personal development and the journey, but it's almost relates to The Wizard of Oz in which I felt like I was living in the black and white. And then through this journey, that's where the color came. And I've, that's life. And that's now how I, I see life so differently. And that was kind of an aha moment watching this movie. Um, so there's a lot of lessons to be learned in The Wizard of Oz. And so the yellow brick road, I've kind of been on my yellow brick road for two years now. Um, and I didn't know where it would lead. And it's a journey of self-discovery for myself and life. Um, and I can tell you when you kind of follow that road of doing something that makes you happy, it's going to lead to something bigger than yourself and bigger than you even realize. And there's going to be a lot of road bumps and crossroads. So if the, the yellow brick road is not always smooth and straight. It is a lot of obstacles, um, hazards, detours, but you got to keep going because you don't know where it's going to take you. So Dorothy, she's kind of a badass, like the most polite, polite badass I've ever met. And she, I didn't meet her, saw. And she is confident, and I never saw her like this. So she, there's a tornado 10 feet from her, one. Secondly, um, if a tree starts throwing apples at you, pretty scary. Um, a creepy witch just pops out of nowhere. And how about those flying monkeys that literally picked her up and took her? I mean, monkeys are creepy enough, but forget those with the blue face nonetheless. But, you know, at that point, most people are like, screw this journey. I'm out of here. Like, I'm done. Let me turn around the yellow brick road and go back to, to Munchkin land. Uh, not Dorothy. Mm -mm. She kept going. Um, and every little victory she had on that road and that journey increased her self-confidence and her sense of purpose. Um, and it's ultimately the confidence that made her realize her dreams. So another lesson I learned, don't try to be someone you're not. And they say the famous quote, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Yeah, the wizard. Um, he's not, he's just a man. He's got no magical powers, no booming voice. Um, and when we learn that, you, you kind of realize, you know, don't try to be someone you're not. You know, people who love you in life will love you for who you are. Um, and here's another lesson. Allow yourself to dream big. Dorothy's desire to see more in the world, to get rid of that black and white, how life should be, you know, that go to school, you get a job, you're going to work nine to five, get a couple degrees and retire when you're 40, then start living. Mm -mm. It's black and white. She wanted to escape it and go to the color. And that's where she entered that world of adventure. Um, but the best lesson learned was that the answer is, the answer is right in front of you, you know, Dorothy dreamed this whole thing, and Glinda was the one to remind her you you always had it in you, um, that she had the power to return it home. It wasn't those little magic slippers. Um, so the power was in her own hands, and she just had to discover it herself. That was kind of eye-opening. Um, so when in doubt, look for the power within, and you're capable of more than you realize. So if you do choose to take the yellow brick road, um, you will be scared like the lion, you will be confused like the scarecrow, you will be stuck like the tin man, and you will be lost like Dorothy. 
But with real courage and the ability to face your fears and follow your heart, that road will lead you to greatness. And we can all thank the lion for teaching us that courage doesn't always roar. It's really that quiet voice in your head that whispers, I'm going to try again tomorrow. So yes, we all need a little glint in our life. I wish that little pink ball would just burst and as a reminder that we do have it in, within us um, and that could block those evil witches. But, you know, you, I encourage you to surround yourself with good people and find the whiz within you and don't hide behind the curtain, pave your own yellow brick road and follow it. And I can tell you, there is no place like working from home. So it is worth it. So these, speaking of perspective, um, I want to change things up, these Facebook Lives. Um, I know some people think they're ridiculous, and that's great. Um, and I also know some people think that they are they really help them. And, and a lot of the feedback I've gotten has been pretty powerful. Um, a lot of people did extra acts of kindness and made extra donations. So I want to help you. Um, and so I would love to know what it is you want me to talk about next week and going forward. And I don't have all the answers, but I'll always be honest, and I'll just give my experience and my truth. Um, but I want to know how I can help you. And I want to ask you this, if what would be different in your life if you had a different perspective? So with that being said, it's Friday, it's summer. This song will just get you in vacation mode. Go enjoy yourself and let me know how I can help you.